Yeah, they're already playing. <laughs> they jumped the gun on me. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what Nick Hazard's doing. He's, tr he's trying something new. reason that I do not know. Uh, it's not working out. He's down two stacks. But hey, uh, he's the one in grand finals, not me. So, oh, okay. He's just gonna... <laughs> Jumbo looks at me and shakes his head no. He goes, nah, I won that. I took two quick stocks, he has deed, yeah, six to, six to seven. Alright, so, uh, Nick Hazard trying what is probably a better strategy, and that is going Marth. Hey! Forward smash. That'll be it. <laughs> oh, power shot in the laser. Yeah, we'll power shot now. Next level. Maybe. Yeah, it's actually not a, as hard as it may appear. Uh, and Marth has a. Power shield is not the hardest thing. I don't know what, what would be the hardest thing in the game. The, the hazard grab, right? Okay, so Nick Hazard looking a lot better here. Question is, is it possible for a human? Okay, so game one, we saw Junebug take two quick stocks off of Nick Hazard, and then Nick Hazard SD. Here, we saw Nick Hazard take two quick stocks off of Junebug, and then Junebug SD. So now we're squared. And, oh, jab. Oh no, he missed his dare. Junebug's able to get back. He still got four stage position. And, oh, this times the down tilt. Uncharacteristic. There's no music. I just noticed that. Yeah. Well, the venue quieted him. So, I mean, I haven't, like, oh, he got the lasers. He got the laser. That's what matters, right? All right, so uh, game two goes to Nick. Nice job. He, he needs to do more of that. Oh. <laughs> He's got his counterfeiting character. See, Junebug, Junebug has a Sheik. And that's the problem. Okay, so Nick Hazard is going to go Falco. Because reasons. I don't know if he likes his Falco versus Jun Sheik better than he does his Fox against his Sheik. Or, you know, I, I don't know exactly what's going through his head. Um... Oh. 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 Skywalker dropped his last skittle. Can we get some Bible thumps in the chat for Skywalker? He dropped his last skittle. That's just tragic. Uh, what's a little less tragic is uh, is Junebug taking a, taking a lead here. What's a full minute? Is uh, the punish game not looking quite as sharp? A few too many dares, not enough shines, not enough up tilts. You gotta carry Falco up. Falco gets down on his own just fine. Uh, you need to get him up, which is why the shine combos work, which is why the up tilt works. Uh, Fox has the up smash as well, which is really nice. Because uh, at low percents, 
Hey, even mid percent on spacies. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll combo. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just runs away. I think that is one of the the most crucial points. Nice edge cancel bear there. Um, but I think that's one of the most crucial points. In the match. So you have knocked your opponent down, and they're lying. They missed their tech. And you have to make the read. What are they going to do? Are they going to do stand and get up? Are they going to roll away? Are they going to roll towards you? Are they going to do a get up attack? If you can make those reads or react quickly enough, get your micro spacing just good enough. You want to stay like just out of range of their get up attack, you know, or or get close in, bait out the get up attack, and either dash away and dash back in, or you can throw up a shield and grab. There are all sorts of uh, all sorts of things you can do there. And if you can win that interaction, uh, then then you can win a lot of games. It's a very, very crucial interaction in this game. Uh, and character like Falco with a dare uh, that just sends opponents plummeting to the ground, they're going to miss those techs. And you are going to get that opportunity regardless. Nice laser there by Nick Hazard. See, he goes for the laser. Ball. Shine up tilt, shine bear. Junebug doing it. I don't. What? Okay. He misses his laser, and he misses the angle. I don't know what happened there. There was just a lot of shenanigans. We're gonna, we're gonna not shenan again, and uh, we're gonna get back to melee. We're gonna get back to some technical Falco play. Uh, two, uh, very good Falco. Players. Falco is, is definitely Junebug's second best. Player. Sheik is obviously the best. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, tries to repeat him with the forge, which is a little too early, but didn't really matter. He's able to get the punch anyway. What? <laughs> I heard Nick Hazard go, what? And then I could only assume he missed the ledge, and that was just bizarre. Uh, two one June bug. Marth. Junebug going Marth? Junebug, do you have a word? Are we going to see Marth dittos? He's going to go Captain Falcon. All right, so... Captain Falcon. Hazard, uh, pulling out the Captain Falcon on FD. I think he likes, uh, he likes Captain Falcon on the stage. He's got his room to run. No platforms to, to impede his way, just flying through the air like a free bird. Yeah, that's what Captain Falcon is. Captain Falcon is a free bird. It's his hair. It does not flow through the wind, but stays firmly locked inside that weird little helmet thing of his. What's well, not a weird little helmet thing? I mean, he's a racer. It makes perfect sense. But, hey, there doesn't get the forward smash. There we go. These are the punishes that we want, that we like to see from Dick Hazard. Throw doesn't get enough more to momentum on that, but the raw knee. Just reading the grab from Dick. Oh, it doesn't get the second hit of the neutral. Uh, that would have been very good for Jim if he had. Not able to grab him out of shield. Nice roll there. Yep, rolls. Okay, rolls. An elegy on rolls. Nice one. Rolls at a low level. Are, are good, you know. When you get to the point where guys are wave dashing, when they're wave dashing out of shield, when they're doing aerials out of shield, when they're shining out of shield, rolls start to get bad. Uh, rolls start to get really slow, and they're easy to read. But then you reach another point where rolls become kind of good again. They are an option. Yeah. They're very fast, and if you roll immediately, and you roll in the right scenarios, then they can work for you. Rolls actually can work in your favor. And Nick Hazard has been actually rolling uh, very well. He's, he's not going to be able to get back from that. So Junebug taking the one stock lead. We see a, a solid lead from him in this game. Oof. See, there it is. And that was the interaction that... So Junebug lost that interaction there. He tried to get that forward smash, but he was too slow on it. He had to get too far away, because Captain Falcon has such a big get-up attack. It covers a lot of space. Oh! Graph 
character boost in the knee. And that should be a stock. Oh, no. But you uh, delaying. Ooh, and no tech from Nick Hazard. That's something he would normally tech. He normally tech and wall jump that and do some fancy shenanigans afterwards. There it is. Just hack stashing. Hack stashing being when you uh, drop off the ledge, jump, float, drift back onto the stage, and then wave wave dash back so that you hit the stage and then re-grab ledge. Uh, it's a great way to impress invincibility. Uh, the now Fox player and former Falcon player hacks uh, popular popularized. Uh, he made extensive use of it, and that fair is going to take. Oh, and he grabs the ledge too. Excellent play and uh, excellent punish game there by Junebug, taking it three-one over Nick Hazard. 